Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video we are doing our Quattro Bra update. And in this update I have the pleasure of showing you the French generals uh, that I've finished for the Quattro Bra game. And uh, the French generals, there's uh, there's a, a lot of difference between the, the French generals animated poses compared to the British and Allies horses and animated poses. All right, so I, I went about painting these guys a little bit different than I normally do. Um, I took a little bit more care and a little bit more detail on painting the horses. Uh, I still have not completely fleshed these out. This is still the basic paint, you know, the 70% the that I would say. I'm going to show you up close and personal which, you know, each of these, I'll pull them up, get them close to the camera so you can see, but I'll put it in focus so you can check out each of these. But basically, as you see them lined up here, we have Ney, who's the overall commander, and you can see his base is slightly larger than everyone else's. And then we have these uh, two-figure bases, which are larger than, of course, the single-figure bases. Uh, these two-figure bases are considered division generals, where the single bases are, or single model bases are considered brigade generals. So these are brigadier generals, and um, I based the bases differently as well. Um, I used the um, the grit that I'm now using is a is a ballast or a yeah I think it's a ballast from Woodland Scenics. It's pre-colored this color, so I don't have to dry brush it or I just glue it on, and it, I don't have to go back later and paint it and dry brush it like you would normally do with sand. So this basically eliminates two steps. Uh, if I needed to add a little bit of rock to it or something like that, I could do that as well. Um, but right now, I'm just using it straight up like sand. And then I used uh, Citadel Citadel Glade Grass. Uh, I bought years and years and years and years ago as the flock. Okay, and then I also did a little touch up with some grass tufts on there as well. All right, so these are this like this is a division. This is um, Bachelu's division with his two brigadier generals, which are you know Campy and Hussein. Uh, right here we got Foy, of course, with uh, Gothier and Jamin, and then right here we have Jerome and Baudun, Baudouin and soy and then over here is probably pyre yes with his two uh, generals hubert and wathier and then you got nay and then we have kellerman and and when i do this close-ups we'll give you a little bit more detail on these models okay let's do some close-ups i have to adjust the focus all right guys we're going to go with bachelou right here um he's the one with the long robe he's wearing a coat uh, and then he's got his aide with him or or actually it's probably a uh, a colonel or someone from uh, a line unit maybe as his aide um, he's on his white horse and he's got his hat and he's got his medal uh, now I noticed that there was a lot of gold on these models these models had a lot of gold First Brigade Commander Hussein, Hussein, or Hussein, Huzween, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Huzan. <laughs> Hussin. I don't know. Yeah, he's got his medal and his hat and his trim on the hat and his sword and his pants and his standard jacket and epaulets. That's one thing I mentioned in the last video with the British generals. Or I anticipated the French generals going a lot faster because they were in a uniform. They were, all wore the same uniform and not some crazy collection of top hats and 
everything else. Uh, and it did. It went a lot faster because I, I didn't have to search for different colors. Uh, this is Foy. Uh, yeah, that's Foy and his aide. And yeah, yep, yep. So I didn't have to search for a whole bunch of different colors for their uniforms. I pretty much stuck with the same color on each of the models. And Gaithier, 1st Brigade. You can tell that there are some touch-ups that need to be done. There are some little tweaks here and there that probably could be accomplished. Uh, but I'm not going to do that until we get all the models finished, playable, and then I'll go back and do some touch-ups and the highlights and stuff. Now on the blue jackets, I did use a dark blue and then I went back in with a flat blue to give the different folds of the fabric uh, a slight highlight. No, it's jamming. This should be Jerome. Jerome, and he's got his aide who's uh, looking at his map trying to figure out like where they're at they're lost and he's saying shouldn't we go over in that direction i don't know with his hat off i don't know <laughs> pretty darn cool yeah i can see right now just looking at that i need to put uh change that little pom-pom color to red right inside there i didn't realize that i dropped left that off but yeah that's what i need to do on him kind of like wellington's horse i need to fix that too Bowden. Now this guy is, I think he's a warlord horse and model. You notice how he's a little bit thinner uh, than all the parries? This guy seems like he's like super skinny and his horse is super small. Uh, I would almost say that this guy is 25 millimeter. Uh, yeah. And soy, soy sauce, yeah, what do you think, looking pretty good, pretty good, yeah, got a sword still in the sheath and all that, okay, and then we're going to Pyre, now Pyre is the cavalry commander, um, there was, and there's his little, he looks almost like a hussar, but he's not, He's just a guy with a Busby hat, and uh, and then you got Pyre over here. Uh, the guy, his aide or his messenger or his, you know, aide de camp or whatever. Uh, there was a, he's got his little shoulder uh, wrapping and stuff like that. His uh, I'm, I guess his bicep wrap or whatever they call that. Uh, I could have went a, a variety of different colors. I could have went with like a red pants. I could have went with a yellow jacket or or I could have went with there's so many different colors that I could have gone with this guy uh, I, I looked at a lot of different reference and there was a lot of variety um, I just picked one I just picked one of them that I liked that I thought looked cool I painted it up all right now these two guys kind of special uh, this is first brigade Hubert he um, some people might say Huber no it's Hubert or Uber, yeah, he's wearing a breastplate. He's got a cuirass on. He's a cuirassier general. Uh, basically, he's just if if I had the option of wearing a cuirass, I would wear one. <laughs> you know, so he had the option of wearing it. He's wearing it. Yeah, he's looking good with his generalness and his cuirass. Perfect. He's a cavalry commander. Probably lancers or chasseurs, because the uh, the cuirassiers are part of Kellerman's Kellerman's group. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is the second guy. This is Wathier. Yeah, he um, he's wearing cuirass as well. So both of these guys, and I probably should put a little gold on the cuirass, but like around those. But I didn't. I was already painting like tons of gold on these guys. Gold, 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 and then brass on the blade, right? But gold, gold, gold everywhere. Gold everywhere. Okay, now we're going to talk about 
uh, Kellerman, before I go to f Nay. Okay, Kellerman is a little special. He's a little special in the fact that uh, he's not a division general, but there's only one division from Ney here in uh, the Battle of Quatre Bras. And it's the Curassier division, basically. There's two Curassier brigade, uh, regiments there. It's really only one brigade. It's really a brigade. Uh, now, Kellerman should be a corps commander, uh, but there is a division general here, and there's also a brigade commander here, but they're all in charge of one brigade. So the way I'm going to do it is I put Kellerman on a division base, but he's only got one brigade. And he's basically taking charge or taking command of that one brigade. So I'm going to use this, this model here to represent Kellerman and his two other generals, uh, their staff and all that. So, but yeah, this is Kellerman. Now, back to, the, back to something else. You notice a horse, right? It's like on his hind legs and it's rearing up. You don't see any of the British generals like that. That's pretty awesome. Let's get a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that, that's freaking awesome, man. I love that. Okay. This guy right here, his aide, aide de camp or whatever, that is a model. Man on the horse is all one model. I didn't have to glue anything together with that model. He came 100% like that. So I didn't glue a head on, didn't glue any arms on, didn't glue him to the horse, none of that jazz. Pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to get to Ney. Ney is the right wing commander of the Army of the North, right? So he's like the right hand man of uh, Napoleon. Napoleon's not at this battle, so that basically means Ney is in charge. Ney's your overall commander. He's got his famous red hair. And uh, you'll notice that uh, he's got a, he's got a, like his A, or his like just some colonel or somebody's over there just hanging out with him. But then he's got this aide right here. And I wanted to show you something. This aide, first of all, his saddle blanket is pretty much like a skin of some kind. But then he's mounting the horse or dismounting, it's hard to tell, but it, he's mounting his horse, he's throwing his leg up. Uh, up over the horse as he's as he's mounting. I thought that was a pretty cool little action pose for the general. Yep, there's Ney, 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 main guy, on the French side. And you'll notice that all their colors are pretty much the same: blue jackets, white pants, white gloves, red saddle blankets gold trim done right that's pretty much the way it is except for a few odds and ends here and there all right so that's the french generals in completion and i'm glad you guys had a chance to come out and check out these uh models and we're making progress with the uh quattro bra um we're 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 chugging along now the next thing I probably need to work on is some artillery pieces. So the next time you come and check me out, I'll probably be doing those. All right, catch you next time.